Hello guys, welcome to another new video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this cinematic character interaction like this on Filmora X. So let's start the video. Don't try to stop me. So open Filmora and import your file. I already imported my file. So drag your video into the timeline. That is worth every day exploring now. My whole life I just want. So now go where you want your effect. I want my effect here. Then split this part and take a snapshot of this frame. Yeah, I just wanna be great. So now we need to remove our snapshot background. For this, go remove.bg or you can remove your snapshot background from Photoshop or you can use any other photo editing software. So now upload your snapshot. So now simply click on download. I already download this so this time I am not downloading this. So now go back Filmora and add this image into this. Now drag second part of video into right side like this. In this life, I wanna be then add main snapshot into this. Boring, then select this and go color correction. I'm so sick of my mind's then go adjust. Then go color and set vibrance and saturation to minus 100. Then click OK. Then add background remove snapshot into upper track. Then add two more video track. And drag second snapshot into upper track. Okay, now it's time to add animation. Zoom the timeline and go animation. Add a keyframe into first frame. Then go 5 frame later. And set scale value to 120. Let's take a preview. Okay, now notice one thing. The back snapshot subject visible in here. So we need to fix this. Set the position in such a way that the subject cannot be seen behind. Okay, that's perfect. Then go to or 3 seconds later where you want your ending effect. And set scale value to 130. So let's check a preview. Then again go 5 frame later and reset all value. So it's perfect now. Okay, now add this brush background in the second track. This is a statement. Link on the description below. It's just for the take in. If you make up your mind, you can take it. Select this and go color correction. Select cool max for deep color. Now double click on this and go animation. Add a keyframe here. And set rated value like this for a rotating animation. Set position according to your character. Then set scale value around 180. 
Then go 5 frame later and change rotate value. Make a rotating animation for better results. So let's take a preview. Then go third keyframe position of video upper part and decrease 10% of scale value that means 170%. Let's take preview. Then go 5 frame later and reset position and rotate value. Now set position Y to the down like this. Okay, let's check a preview. So as you can see, its animation is also done. Now delete extra part of snapshot. And attach rest video part. So it's look like this. Okay, now add text animation. Go titles and add default title into middle empty track. Adjust this with snapshot. Now edit your text. Now lock all layer except text layer. Now adjust text position like this. Okay, now go text animation. Add a keyframe into second keyframe position. Then go third keyframe position and decrease 10% of scale value that means 90% now adjust the text position value for better animation let's see delete first and last extra part of text ok now go text advanced animation option And select realistic animation and adjust animation speed like this. So as you can see it's done. Let's check a preview. Okay, now add the last part. It's not mandatory but add this for interesting view. Unlock upper layer and split 5 frame of middle part of animation. And add chromatic aberration, MPEG glitch and add glitch distortion effect into this. And go video effects and set value according to your video. Let's check preview. Okay, now add sound effect for more cinematic feel. Sound effect link given on the description below. So our effect is done. So let's export this. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more cool tutorial and also leave a comment which effect you want on Filmora. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.